你好，买贝尔的 Fiat 模拟票不会让你得到一亿个免费的手机短信，也不会让你在市中心得到一栋很大的房子，也不会让你有很多很多的钱。贝尔的 Fiat 模拟票只会让你在完美的交响音乐会中得到享受。你们听懂了吗？Europe has been in economic crisis for several years. Serbia has been going through the crisis for several decades. And we are not talking only about the economic crisis. So my work in crisis management can be of use. The advertisement you just saw was taken in a friend's apartment using a small HD, HD quality camera with the participation of young Chinese dentistry student and a total budget of 800 euro. So if you are interested in cheap advertising, you, you can contact me after a conference. <laughs> uh, my recipe is very simple. We could call it creative despair. Just a second, I need... Can I have some assistance? It doesn't work. Hmm. Can you check? Okay, can check uh, One more. Yes. Yeah. That's. <coughs> this advertisement, I, I hope that you can read, uh, was announced uh, in 2009 by the Belgrade Philharmonic Orchestra. It was published as a sign of protest against state cultural funding policy at the time. I was motivated by the fact that Philharmonic musicians had a monthly salary lower than necessary to cover their basic existential costs. Uh, the advertisement is a response to months of unsuccessful negotiation with the Ministry of Culture concerning their obligations to Belgrade Philharmonic Orchestra's employees, whose founder is the state. The advertisement was published at a time when BPO employees had an average wage of 300 euro. During the same time, the state funded hundreds of thousands of euro for private commercial cultural projects. As you see in this, no, you can't see. In this ad advertising is uh, writing that uh, we can play on uh, wedding, funerals, bar mitzvah for very reasonable price which I think is good future for a lot of orchestras in Europe if the government don't change their policy. Uh, this ad was followed by my resignation, which the government took into procedure. Then Deus Ex Machina, a regular attendant of creative despair, came on the scene. Overnight, more than 10,000 people gave support on the Philharmonic Facebook page. My demand to the government was that they must clearly identify their priorities when it comes to cultural funding policy. At the same time, we received support from many foreign artists and organizations as well as the FIM. Before this event, Philharmonic could have only showed up in the headlines upon condition the director robbed the bank. I told about it, but I didn't need to do it because the public support to orchestra became a headline not only in Serbian, but in the international media as well. Our story interested the Independent, Financial Times and BBC. Because of such a large social support, the government refused my resignation. We began to seek solutions to improve the situation of financing both musicians and institutions together. I'm addressing you today 
as a director of BPO still. However, do not try, to, do not try this at home. Because <laughs> this story is not due to my wisdom and thought out strategy, but as I said, creative desperation. Nevertheless, the experience led me to some conclusions which I would like to share with you today. We are traditionally focused on state budgets in Europe, which make us dependent on goodwill and the economic success of political ruling elite. My experience shows that in the times of economic crisis, cultural institutions' survival depends on its own political and financial independence, which is possibly only if the community recognized the broadest social values promoted through the work and art. In the season 2009-2010, our political independence was underlined with the new slogan of the season, in spite of everyone and despite everything. I will show you this. Can somebody tell me the next? Uh, uh -huh. In spite of everyone and despite everything. Of course, we are still far from full financial independence. But from the moment when my resignation was not accepted, the private sector increased its share in Belgrade Philharmonic Orchestra financing from 3 to 25 percent. That was a signal for politicians who are guided by opinion polls that increasing the state's share in financing the BPO in 2011 could bring them more popularity. But despite this, with 1.9 million euro annual budget for the salaries, programs and operating costs, uh, BPO is one of the poorly financed national philharmonic orchestras in Europe, even in the southeastern European region. Although I'm a big fan of size does matter ideology, I believe the biggest success of BPO at the moment is that we are on the road to become one of the first public-private partnership financing models in the region. And I'm aware that this is the toughest way, but also the only way possible. Above all, we must be aware that by accepting this challenge, we are creating a new reality and the dynamics in the relationships of management, employees, state and private donors. You are a great guy, thank you. <laughs> Responsibility, just a second, yes. Responsibility of management is increasing. Solving financial problems cannot be achieved by off-screen political influence, but through the market success. The set, second thing is that responsibility of the musicians in increasing Artistic quality and work dedication are not job description, but a future key element of self-financing. Only unique experience and highest level performance of symphonic music can inspire the public and private interest to ensure the long-term financial support for your orchestra. The third point, that's institutional marketing becomes more important than the commercial marketing shift from economic engine based on producing concerts and selling tickets to economic engine based on development of patrons through a deep reciprocal relationship with Belgrade Philharmonic Orchestra. The next. Thank you. Uh, the importance of PR increasing good image, so what is important, good image attracts donation even those who do not understand our artistic mission. The necessity of passing new laws to define the relationship between the state as the founder and the private sector as co-financer of national institutions. The state must be a guarantee of social stability, job security, and must create benefits for the private sector to step in as a co-financer of national institutions. 
At the same, uh, tax breaks provide to the private sector to invest in national institu institutions like philharmonic, like theaters or opera, which employ thousands of artists, must have a more favorable fiscal treatment of donations that are given to individual cultural events and festivals. Okay. Okay. My deep belief, belief that the public-private partnership is necessity of future funding, not only for symphony orchestras in a poor country of Western Balkans, but also inevitable adaptation to the era of economic crisis. I would say this is the future even for the largest and most successful orchestras in Europe somewhat dormant in their own artistic and financial well-being. Thank you for your remarkable attention and patience as you were listening to my attempt of speaking English.